the, the warm-ups, even the preparation is much more generic in nature. It's, it's not tailored for an individual uh, opponent. Think about it like clothing. You, know, you, you can have generic clothing or you can have tailored clothing. Uh, here it's more of a generic element. You, there's certain skills which work well against a broad cross-section of athletes. That's the primary emphasis in this kind of preparation, as opposed to, okay, we're fighting this guy on this day, here's what he's good at, and you tailor everything to that specific uh, match. Here, the, the, the skills you work tend to be generic that work across the board against a wide cross-section. What was the camp kind of like? How do you help it? Uh, it's about three weeks, which is a very short camp. Um, of course, Nicholas comes from a very, very long uh, tradition of the gi competition, so it's pretty easy for him to modify behavior. The main thing is physically just getting hands ready for, for gi work. Um, uh, in no gi, you, you grip predominantly with your wrists. But the strength of your grip comes from your wrists, and in the gi, it comes predominantly from your fingers. So there's a there's a sense which your body needs to get adjusted for this. In his case, it doesn't take long since he has such a, a long history of it. His game has changed quite a bit over the last year just to, to uh, because of his participation in no gi training. So uh, he's interested in showing how some of the interplay between the pressure game, the tightness game associated with no gi could translate to a gi, uh, to a gi match. Do you look at the bracket for the answer? Yeah, um, uh, I, I do have opinions based on what happened at Worlds uh, last time, but I think that there's been such a uh, a significant amount of time since the, the Worlds that probably all of the athletes have changed significantly. I know Nicholas certainly has, so um, uh, I wouldn't put too much credence on, on what happened last time. Uh, also, last time Nicholas had a very severe rib injury. This time he's coming in, in good, you know, with no physical compromises, so uh, I think you, there's not too much that you would draw from the previous time that would apply to this. This is a we're looking at this as like a new kind of event. Yes, these are the as well. <laughs> oh, coffee for the <laughs> champion. <laughs> <laughs> Saving this fucking sport. I'm the only guy who can do it. How do you feel after your first one, Nicholas? I feel great. So I was curious to see how much improvements I got. And apparently my top pressure is like pretty good. So <laughs> you're still with the smoothie <laughs> yeah, tip. That's crazy. Crazy, right? So John. So I mean, we have John. John has a uh, has his uh, uh, program. So. We spent a lot of time trying to develop this uh, top pressure that I didn't have before. So it's gonna be a huge advantage in my game. I can show my half guard, mount, get a pressure on top in positions that I can 
pretty much camping in every uh, scenario possible. And I feel great, I feel strong, I feel mentally sharp. And I feel I'm uh, a lot of steps ahead of everybody. The only, the only way a person could beat me is not playing against me, not doing jiu-jitsu, just assuming some negative negative game, playing lapel and things like that. Because if we just exchange jiu-jitsu, so it's gonna be every match is like this one was. As I talk to the IBJF camera, I'm the only guy who can save this fucking sport, and that is the truth. I know you guys, you guys cannot like me, I know I have haters, I know I have people who love me as well, and it's been incredible to see more people like making noise for, uh, for me. So, making noise in a positive way, you know? So, but that is the truth, I'm, the, I'm a superstar. I have an insane jiu-jitsu, um, I have a strong personality, so I, I, I can be and I feel I am the face of this sport. And that is what I'm trying to do right here at Pan Ams. Compete, hype the gi, show to everybody who is uh, the king of this sport and try to make something different, you know. So if you want to save this sport and become an entertainment sport, we have actually give space for personalities and athletes who literally put a show every time they compete not just uh, uh, winning medals and make it uh, uh, winning by points but the whole environment that is what i feel what do you think about i think you have roberto next what do you think about your next match with roberto he's a tough guy he's a tough guy so a guy who loves to do jiu-jitsu like not yeah it's gonna be a good match because he's gonna exchange jiu-jitsu against me it's not gonna be boring so i'm pretty excited let's go Michael looks huge. The match was good, so I knew he would he would try get my leg, but I gave him my leg. I tried some like shiru chumara, so I didn't like control the the first leave, so I was just retarded. And I was like, I can't I can't accept two points and then play from there. I knew he would start and try some score some point in the beginning. That would be his only chance to win, but. It's impossible. You, you like just to run away for 10 minutes. So my plan for this tournament is give whatever I need to put my hands in someone and then work from there. I think I have Dimitri Souza. He qualified. So we have athletes 
greatest of all times. John is by far the greatest mind of all times in our sport. So, if you think different than me, it's because you have zero idea why Jiu Jitsu is. <laughs> like zero. Like it's no doubt he's the greatest mind in the sport. Positive vibes outside, darkness inside, the king is back. I took his back in a beautiful way as well. Like I had my ex-guard, he tried to roll to get my back and I took him his back. So it was a good, good position. And once I was there, on the side, not on the back with both uh, with hooks in, but like just on the side of my opponent's body, I know um, I can pin the guy, get the mount or half guard and pin the guy top to bottom or I can take the back easily. It's not a big deal. In the final, you're gonna have Eric Diniz. What do you think yeah. about that match? So I think he's gonna play the same, the same style. Like, he has a very defensive game. Uh, so I think it's gonna be pretty much that. He's gonna try to stay on top position with both hands on the hips, like trying to stay away or play bottom uh, with lapel, because that is what he does. Like. So he's trying, actually he's trying to fight better, I mean like uh, 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 move more, but his game always comes back for the same scenario when he's facing some uh, 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 tough guy. So his last match right now, I don't know if he finished the match, he tapped the guy, no, he won by points. Yeah. So I saw most of the match he was playing 50 with the guy. I, I mean, I didn't watch the whole match, but I saw him play 50. So he always comes back for this. Uh, uh, specific position but I feel great I feel great yeah. so last time we fought I was barely walking so I had my rib uh, destroyed and I didn't train for the tournament so for this one we have two and a half two weeks camp 
and I'm healthy, feeling great, mind is on, on, on point. So I think we're gonna have a great match tomorrow. And I cannot promise the, uh, uh, the victory, but I know that I can perform and uh, show what Jiu Jitsu really is and also give a gift for everybody uh, who is here watching how one greatest athlete of all times perform. And that is what I am. I'm one of the greatest ever. Looking oh, forward to it. That's great. I'm one of the greatest ever. They have to accept that. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, I don't know.